everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about full dark, no stars. Yeah. All right. First and foremost, two things I want to throw out there. Um, if you want to jump to the beginning of the actual Theorist video, I'll put a uh, number, a time code down there in the doobly-doo. But first off, if you are in Alabama around the Birmingham area or Hoover area, I will be at the Hoover Public Library this Saturday. Uh, what is it? The 20, October 27th. If you'd like to come by, stop by, say hello, say what's up, um, meet me. You can listen to me talk. I'll be doing a talk about uh, independent publishing at the Hoover Public Library in, of course, Hoover, Alabama. Second thing of note is it is early as I don't know what. It is 4, 4 a.m. as I am shooting this because I forgot to film this episode yesterday. Um, why why wouldn't my up so early? Why don't I just film it later today? Well, I'm doing a uh, buddy read, a 24-hour long buddy read with my buddy Cody Tidwell. Um, I'll leave links to his stuff down there in the doobly-doo. But I will be trying to read for the next, well, starting at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be trying to read for the next 24 hours straight. Uh, only breaks for food and bathroom, um, that kind of thing. So if you'd like to join me on that weird journey, I'll also be posting a video to the channel, hopefully if it goes well. Um, if you'd like to join me for that journey, follow me on Twitter, follow me on the Instagram, links down in the doobly-doo. Let's get on with the review slash theorist stuff. Alright, so Full Dark, No Stars opens up with 1922. Um, I love the story. I'm going to go right ahead and say that this is uh, this collection is my favorite novella collection from Stephen King after uh, Different Seasons. Different Seasons is perfect. Uh, this one, I only have slight problem with one story, but uh, other than that, I, I enjoyed. And, and it's also, I'm going to give you some history as far as the paperback and the hardcover is concerned also. Um, 1922, great. If you see the adaptation, I actually, once again, this has happened before, if you guys have watched all the Thursday Theorist videos, I prefer the movie on Netflix to the actual reading of the story just for experience. Um, it's a quicker experience, of course, because, you know, un unless, of course, you're a speed reader. If you're a speed reader, definitely read the story first. I mean, not first, but read the story, forget about the movie. Um, the movie's great. Uh, but the the book kind of meanders at times. Uh, it's just King being King. I mean, I, I don't care too much for people who get who complain about Stephen King doing Stephen King things. But this one does kind of meander for a novella. It felt like it would have been a, a terrific short story. That is my one complaint for the entirety of this book. Um, is that the first story feels a bit long even for a novella but that's just my opinion all right next up we have a uh, fair extension love this story um in fact one of my biggest theories coming up uh there's going to be a lot of disagreement about it and i love disagreement so disagree with me down there in the comments um but i i really appreciate the location because it's by the uh the airport in uh what was the dairy i think it is in the story i think it's dairy but uh it is a, it might actually be Bangor now that I'm thinking about it, but Bangor is, uh, I think King called it the bastard twin of, well, Derry is the bastard twin of Bangor, Maine, which in fact is where uh, Stephen King lives. But uh, I enjoyed it just for the, just for the content, the context, the content, um, the, the idea, and spoilers, you know, these videos, how these videos go. The spoiler... It, it, the guy's talking to the devil, and yes, it's a little hokey and silly that the guy's name is Elvid, which is, what is it, an anagram for uh, devil, or it's a, it's the devil, uh, it's devil mixed up, it's Elvid, uh, is the way it's written in there, and he's got things, it's really, really cool, I, I appreciated that, even though it is a little hokey, I appreciated it and love that story. Uh, next up, actually, I skipped Big Driver, I apologize. Big Driver is one of my favorite Stephen King novellas, period. Um, I don't think I've done my top five. I'm not even sure that it'd be in my top five Stephen King novellas. Um, in fact, if I haven't, I'll probably do that for tomorrow's video, um, for Top 5 Friday. But uh, Big Driver, I had a blast being uncomfortable in that story. 
um, from the beginning rape scene all the way to when um, she enters the the woman's house there that the, the the whole thing is terrific it's one of his best novellas um, I have not seen the uh, what is it TNT's or Lifetime I can't remember which uh, which one it is I haven't seen the film adaptation and I'm not too interested in it. Um, I don't know why, but it just doesn't call to me, so I, I have no interest in it. Um, but I love, love Big Driver, the novella. And finally, A Good Marriage, which uh, got a lot of flack. Uh, film version, I couldn't even finish it. Uh, people love it. I know that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> the reason I couldn't finish it, it was very cringy. Um, some of the acting, I, I didn't care for it whatsoever. Um, a lot of people said it was terrifically acted. I don't agree with that. But hey, that's just me. Just like I don't like the acting in Halloween. Yes, the original John Carpenter version. I think it's terrible. The lady gets choked and her eyes cross. It's hilarious. But um, I like Halloween <laughs> coming up on Halloween. I love Halloween the movie and it, it, it's so bad. It's good sense. Rage at me down there in the comments. Um, <laughs> you're wrong. I can't wait to read this. Alright, so uh, Good Marriage. There was a lot of controversy because it was, uh, the story was inspired by the BTK killer, Bi well actually no, it's Bind, Torture, Kill, um, killer, seems redundant to say it again, B BTK killer, <laughs> um, anywho, uh, and the, I think the, the dude's daughter, what's his name, David something, I think, uh, he, she came out and said, you know, you're, you're, glorifying my father and I don't see it that way at all because I mean the dude's a terrible person in the book it's not like you know he was writing a, a fan story for BTK anyway we're gonna jump in the Dark Tower connections now because this video is going on long enough but the uh, the connections here I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave two things out so I'm gonna let you guys find two things uh, whoever finds those two things maybe I'll send you something special uh, so if you can find the two things that I don't mention, I don't care if you go searching for them, um, because they're they're hard to find. The, if I don't mention the two, if you find the two things that I don't mention, then I'll send you something special, something really special. Okay, so jumping into it, 1922 occurs in Hemingford Home, Nebraska. That's easy. That's where Mother Abigail's from. Uh, it's been all throughout the King verse, and of course the stand ties in hard to uh, the Dark Tower because of Wizard and Glass. Um, they end up traveling, and that's also important for another story in here, uh, but we'll get that get to that in just a second. Um, but the, especially the Stand and Wizard and Glass, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, Wizard and Glass ties into the Stand because Roland and his quartet end up in the world of the Stand after Captain Trips has happened. So, Moving on, it, on that note, it, the way it's connected, we're going to go ahead and jump directly to, I think it's in Fair Extension. There is, no, 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 wait a second, I'm going to jump all the way to, uh, which one is it? Oh, speaking of which, I need to go back. See, this is why I don't film this early in the morning. The difference between the hardcover version and the paperback version here is the paperback version actually comes with an extra story called uh, Under the Weather. Under the Weather is cool because there's a point in there where they're talking and a guy mentions uh, that I think it's either him or somebody else runs a, co runs a company uh, that works with uh, Nazi Cola or the, he's, the guy thinks he's drinking a Nazi I think is what it says and of course that Nazala Cola from that is mentioned in Wizard and Glass I mean, you could put those two things together, I think. I don't think that's a big stretch of the imagination to say that that story happens in... Uh, and on top of that, the guy's wife dies in the story of an illness, and he just keeps her... Yeah, there. <laughs> he just keeps her. Uh, another thing, uh, last one I'm going to bring up is in the story Fair Extension. I believe... Yeah, I believe that Elvid is, of course, I think he's Randall Flagg. I just think that, that that is a thing. I think that's a hard connect, not a hard connect. I think that's a soft connect. You can disagree with me. But there are two people that are talking in the, uh, in the story, and one guy says, 
long days and pleasant nights, and that's directly from the Dark Tower. So now it is up to you to find the two that I purposefully left out. I've done this in past videos also because I want you guys to play along. Um, maybe I'll do a video right at the end of all this, do a really long video where I just mention all the stuff that I left out because I've been keeping notes. Anyways, so please leave your stuff down there in the comments below and I'll probably send you something cool. Alright, so until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.